Hey guys, welcome back to the Night Acres. It has been a while since I've been on. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> and we've been kind of busy. I've um, got a lot going on. Now I'm gonna step in my greenhouse here for a second and kind of show you, show you some of these, my pepper plants. Still doing good. I gotta get them in the ground. Um, still working on that. But even, I mean, my tomatoes are the ones I haven't planted. I've planted 30 tomato plants in my garden. We can go look at those. Kind of proud of myself. I started those from seed and they've been in the garden and they are still alive. <laughs> I have a row of tomatoes here. Got a row of tomatoes here. And a row of tomatoes here. This here, I'm gonna do loofah, ignore my junk. I'm gonna do loofah and cucumber on a trellis. Um, and I have eggplants. They're looking kind of puny, but they got a little sunburnt, but they're recovering. But this is a volunteer cucumber plant from last year. And I have a bunch of them. So there's one, got a few more eggplant. There's another <laughs> volunteer cucumber that's just living his best life. And a red cabbage. And let's see what we got over here. We got green cabbage. This one's obviously been eaten on. But I got more, more cucumber. They're just everywhere. Look, there's another one over there. There's one right here underneath this plant. There's, look, there's another one there. And look guys, I've never grown broccoli before. Look at this dude. I'm going to cut it off tonight and we're going to have it with dinner. A couple rows of potatoes, they're looking good. I told you guys when I planted these um, that these were potatoes that I saved from last year. So as soon as they started sprouting, I had them stored in like a, actually I had them stored in a, one of those black grow bags. And cause I didn't really have anywhere to put them. So they were just in our house, in our dining room, just in the bag. And once they started sprouting, I would put them in a brown paper sack and I just kept them under the cabinet. And if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. But yeah, all these potatoes, they are free potatoes. I don't even think I've watered them because it's actually been raining. Um, we've been in kind of drought conditions for the past couple of years, so it's raining, so I haven't watered. <laughs> yeah, both of these rows of potatoes, those are free potatoes. Just cost me a little time, I guess. And I don't know if you guys watched my uh, video when I was planting garlic. That one might have been kind of boring. Sorry about that. But look at these. And look, see, they've they've started putting on a scape. So I think whenever the scape does one turn, you can trim the scapes, and then they'll put um, they'll put all their energy into growing the the bulb bigger and. I think after that, they're ready to harvest in like a month or something like that. I'll have to look it up again. Our garlic is doing good. See if I can get a hold of it right there. That's escape. If you see, it hasn't, it hasn't turned yet. But this one right here, you see how it's, it's got a turn on it. And here's one, here's one, here's one. These over here, like see this one, it has a, a full turn on it. So some of these I need to get trimmed and I guess wait to see. Wait to see what they look like when I pull them up. As you can hear my chickens, they're being super rude having a conversation so but yeah I wanted to get on here and kind of give a little bit of an update a little roundabout what's been going on um 
Let's see if I can go back here and our pig Bowser was, he was actually sick. And we had the vet come out to the house. Um, and he said that he probably had pneumonia and was on the verge of being septic. Like he was sick. He didn't even know if he was gonna make it through the night. So. There he is. He is doing much better now. He's eating and drinking and back to his honoriness of getting out of his pen all the time. So. As you can see, he's just living his best life. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna check out our mama pig because she's got to be having babies any day. Like, I'm hoping she'll have them this weekend. Fingers crossed, I'm so excited. I can't wait for babies, babies to be born. Hey mama. I don't know if you can appreciate uh, yeah she broke her fence guys like broke it broke it we gotta fix it you're destructive I don't know if this camera does justice to her roundness yeah you're just a you're just a big old pregnant mama So yeah, I'm hoping, I don't really see a milk line necessarily, but maybe a little TMI, but she's kind of swollen in her, in her back end there. So she should be, I think she's really close to having her babies. I wish the camera did her roundness justice, but it doesn't. It doesn't, mama. Come on, Peaches, can I give you scratches? Can I give you scratches? Can you see the belly? Can you see the belly? Come here, Peaches. Come here. Let me give you scratches. Come here. I can't. <laughs> She's just out of my reach. Come here, Peaches. You see all the random stuff she's dug up? Bricks and all kinds of random stuff. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff right there, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> good job, Mama. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on the babies. Can you see her belly? Can you see the roundness? She's very large. Follow, follow for the babies. We'll be having babies soon. As you can see, I got my broccoli. It is hot out here. I am going to go inside. I think we're just gonna have sandwiches for dinner because it's hot and I don't feel like cooking. We just put our air conditioners in our house. We have window units because our house is old. Um, yesterday, <laughs> so, we've been struggling, um, but we got them put in, but I, I don't feel like cooking. So we're gonna have sandwiches and some fresh broccoli out of the garden. Pretty excited, my son's excited, he loves broccoli. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for walking around in my garden and visiting with my animals. We'll catch you in the next one.